a month, and the whales are trained to remain calm and relaxed throughout the entire procedure. Now, as trainers were frequently rubbing down or massaging the whales, whether on their bags, pectoral flippers, or tail flutes. The whales have very sensitive and skin, and this is the best way to make them reward them for remaining calm during procedures like this. It's also a great way for us to strengthen our relationships with the whales. Blood samples are just one way that we can make sure our whales are staying healthy. Another important diagnostic is weighing the whales. We're able to weigh the whales by asking them to slide their bodies out of the water and onto a killer whale size scale located in one of our adjacent pools. Here we can demonstrate this in our slide up here. Now once Katina slides up, you'll notice that a portion of her body from her torso fin to her tail flips is still in the water. This is the powerhouse of the killer whale. It's called the pinocle, and it's very heavy and very muscular. With the pinocle still in the water, we could not be getting an accurate weight. So we're able to solve that problem by simply asking them to lift their tails up and out of the water. Just like Tina's about to demonstrate. Wow! And just like that, turning this posture enables us to ensure accuracy. ये तो सबसे खतरनाक किलर वेल और का है लेकिन शो में ऐसा लग रहा है कि फ्रेंडली फ्रेंडली डॉल्फिन है Hi everyone, I'm over here on the left side of the stadium, down by the glass. Did you know the killer whales love to play? They actually learn a lot by playing, and through mimicry and observational learning. From a young age, killer whales 